If you are a human being in this world, you may find yourself participating in conversations with your fellow human beings. Now, this will occasionally throw you into situations where you're negotiating on terms to try and get things that you want or desire, which can be sticky situations, especially if it's for a raise or be, or be it an object that you want or just to have somebody listen to you. It's all just some variation of a negotiation where somebody or well, both parties are trying to get what they want. Now, the key to solid negotiation is having solid foundations, which is essentially applying and adopting values and principles that can guide you and steer you through the course that isn't always clear and clear. Clear and clear. Whatever. So, one of the principles you'll want to apply is recognizing that negotiation is not a battleground. It's not an us against them, good versus evil, where you must triumph. Now, a lot of people think it's a battleground, and it's not. The battle is actually the situation, and your counterpart is your collaborator. And once you adopt this principle, the way that you'll go about a negotiation becomes much more uh, dynamic. You're no longer trying to overcome and win. You're trying to have both parties get what they want. And that brings us to our first principle, which is understanding. Understanding your counterpart and what they want, what they desire, their goals, their fear. You can gain this understanding by asking questions and having genuine and sincere curiosity about what they desire, because when you give it, they too will give it back. And also, uh, vice versa, this works in regular conversations, this works in regular engagements and negotiation especially. Now, one of the additional principles you'll want to apply is that of empathy. When you understand why you're uh, collaborators do what they do or believe what they believe or when you just try to understand their world this is a little bit more on just building rapport then they will just open up more sincerely and just genuinely expressing your emotions genuinely expressing your desires but not making it all about you because people love to share they love when people listen they love when you ask questions you don't want to be too ruthless and emotionless because that can make you seem like an off really being a real human being. So those are just a few of my rambling tips about <coughs> negotiating with your fellow human beings. Be sincere, be empathetic, and, you know, just genuine and kind. And ask questions. Just curiosity goes a long way. And always think of this. Always think of negotiation as a collaborative effort. Because that's all we're really trying to do is have people's desires materialize. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in. See you tomorrow.